ஹலோ ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் வெல்கம் டு சுனில் இன்ஜினியரிங் அகாடமி ஐ ஆம் பரத் In previous classes, we have seen the basics of environment and now we are going to start a very new topic and a very important topic that is pollutions, friends. Okay, pollution in the sense, what do you mean by that? See, we have the environment, friends. If, there, if that environment is contaminated by some unnatural things, friends. and causes adverse change it is called pollutant friends okay often there are some contaminants which causes the pollutions and another time in other cases pollution can also be a chemical form S- suppose like noise heat light in this energy forms unnecessary noises unnecessary heat unnecessary light causes pollution friends in the same way unnecessary elements in the environment also causes pollution friends okay this is the basic definition the contaminants the contaminants which change the natural environment are all called pollution and this contaminants is called pollutants pollutants friends okay this you have to remember Mo- mainly in our syllabus we are going to focus upon air pollution water pollution and noise pollution friends okay now we are going to see air pollution as i have said earlier the unnecessary components causes pollution here in air pollution is defined as the presence of toxic chemicals or compounds in the air at levels that pose a risk to the health and environments friends okay these foreign or objects or unwanted pollutants of toxic chemicals and compounds in the air in such a level or in in such a number which pose a risk to the health of the human or animal and also the health of the environment so now we will see what are the pollutants that pollutants uh, some of them are particulate matter ground level ozone usually this ozone which is in the stratosphere is useful for the environment if the same ozone is on the troposphere that is on the ground then it is it poses a risk for the environment friends and also mainly crop carbon monoxide nitrogen di- dioxide sulfur dioxide and also some volatile organic components or the common air pollutants friends so once again remember pollute uh, particulate matter ground level ozone remember friends ozone is not a pollutant ozone on the ground it is a pollutant friends ozone in the stratosphere is not a pollutant instead it is a it is it is it is doing good by blocking the uv radiations friends which is in the stratosphere if the same ozone is on the ground then it is called the pollutant friends okay the carbon monoxide nitrogen dioxide alpha dioxide volatile organic components friends okay what is particulate matter see friends you all know about the delhi air pollution to check the delhi air pollution index we are going to check the two two kinds of dust particles are micro particles friends and these are called particulate matter 2.5 and particulate matter 10 friends in the sense 2.5 is nothing but 2.5 micrometers of diameter of the particulate matter friends that particle matter particle having 10 micrometers of diameter comes under the pm 10 particulate matters friends okay this particles get into the lungs and cause respiratory for problems friends okay so this is called particulate matter which we can see in delhi friends air pollution is at high risk 
and it is very risky in our national capital region now we will see what are the sources of air pollution in other places is commonly we can we can see that what are what are the industries or what are the sectors that that is responsible for the air pollution so 52% of the air pollution is caused by industries factories companies which produce the chemicals friends okay 27% is contributed by the transportation transportation uh, the vehicles which is using diesel petrol fossil fuels everything friends comes under this transportation pollution and agriculture agriculture due to agriculture methane is released friends which causes air pollution so 10% of the air pollution uh, agriculture takes responsible of that uh, commercially commercial consumers is co uh, contribute 8% and 1% is by residential heating friends okay so there are some natural sources if you see agriculture agriculture also uh, is responsible for the air pollution i have said that methane methane that has come out of animals and crops and smoke and carbon monoxide from wildfires volcanic actions also releases natural uh, sources of air pollution which produce sulfur chlorine and ash particles friends all this all these components which are coming out of the volcanic eruptions causes air pollution friends and this methane which is uh, which is released by the animals and crops is the main reason why uh, worldwide though killing of animals is a non uh, is a cruel thing uh, people ask to adopt vegetarian because if you eat animals animals already consume grass and some methane is coming out and animals also release some methane friends so i will explain like this there are there is some grass and food for animals friends okay these animals so suppose this animal these release some methane and animals also release some methane friends okay if man eats this animal so he is responsible of liberating two stages of methane gas friends okay if he adopts vegetarian then he is surpass surpassing this animal and directly taking this grass so he can avoid this one stage of methane release friends okay so experts of environment safeguarders say that it is better for man to adopt to vegetarian friends okay this is the main reason why people adopt to people should adopt for the vegetarians friends okay so methane these are the natural sources and methane methane from animals and crops and smoke that is uh, that is coming out of the wildfires and volcanic er eruptions friends also causes uh, which produces sulfur chlorine and ash particles anthropogenic causes man made causes fossil fuel burning vehicular emissions and chemicals that is produced by the fact factories friends all these come under anthropogenic causes anthro means man uh, man's responsible a uh, man who is responsible for these causes and types of pollutants primary pollutants secondary pollutants friends these are the direct results of process and can be caused by primary sources see sulfur dioxide which is released from the factories this is the direct effect of the factories so it is called primary pollutants friends what is secondary pollutants that are the ones that are caused by the intermingling of reactions of primary pollutants two primary pollutants combine to form 
other pollutant friends suppose smoke plus fog combined to form smog which is very very dangerous in the cities friends smoke plus smoke plus fog uh, smog this is the secondary pollutant friends so causes of air pollution these are the causes of air pollution friends burning of fossil fuels by burning of fossil fuels we are uh, releasing sulfur dioxide carbon dioxide methane nitrous oxide and fluorinated gases friends vehicular emissions you all know that incomplete combustion of hydrocarbons releases carbon monoxide which is very very dangerous in the environment friends industrial emissions you know that they release carbon monoxide hydro uh, hydrocarbons organic compounds chemicals and we have seen that sulfur dioxide is also released by the industries friends petroleum refineries also release hydrocarbons and various other chemicals that pollute the air and uh, cause land pollution this land pollution in turn converted into air pollution so agricultural activities stubble burning in the ncr region punjab haryana and increases the air pollution nearby ncr area friends mining operations dust and chemicals released into the air other causes were dust storm forest fires and deforestation friends so all these are the causes of air pollutions what are the impacts of air pollutions so the impacts of air pollutions are health effects friends first of all the health effects the effects of air air pollution are known as the create several respiratory and heart conditions along with the cancer even cancer can be caused by the air pollution friends okay economic loss financial pollution related death sickness welfare and is about 6.2 percent of the global economy friends if one is suffering from respiratory uh, respiratory problems due to air pollution obviously the output of that person or the contribution for the gdp by that person is reduced and he couldn't a able to work as if he is help uh, healthy friends so some deaths will happen sickness will come and his overall output will be going down so that it is calculated that, that it is a economic loss of 6.2 percent globally friends okay global warming increase in greenhouse gases emissions like co2 carbon dioxide is slowly increasing and the mean global temperature causing the climate to change friends acid rains and ozone layer depletion are one of the some of the reasons of the air pollution friends okay in the next class we will see what are the steps to be taken to air pollutions uh, in india and also one liners in the air pollution friends okay see you in the next class till then take care don't forget to download these notes friends thank you